Hello there! Today let's check few legendary modifications that Beth gonna include in the next update. I think with all these new buffs the game should be a little bit harder for end game players. And probably we eventually gonna get survival gameplay. <laughs> Okie dokie, so we have new mods. Uh, one by the way was nerfed and uh, I agree with the nerf. One isn't actually working. One is mm mm, but okay. And the last one is good, but situational. Actually, I still hope that Bev gonna make an update to make things right. So I can include this update as well. But anyhow, I need to publish something on my channel. So here we go. Let's check what we are having right now. Yeah, and by the way, your comments are welcome. I read all of them, <laughs> even if they are not related to this video of Fallout 76 in general. So leave me a comment, I love to read. Con freaking doctors. Critical hits restore just hit points. Hmm, previously it would have restored action points as well. For ya and your nearby mates. I have no mates, I even don't have a lot of subscribers after 4 years on YouTube. Be one, I'm fun. Probably I need to lose some hit points. Uh, Toxic goo, I need you. And probably something else like uh, Tato. A little bit of shrooms, uh, porn soup, oh yeah, I'm white and nerdy. And of course, red ways to heal up my reds. Hey, no. So, why the F I agree with conductors be nerfed? So stupid of me, right? <laughs> but I want to see balance in Fallout 76 since the very beginning of my presence in the game. Bethesda is balancing webs on PTS, so happy me. But additional AP regeneration procced by Dillian Creeds will probably make an infinite loop where you will never be out of action points. And I think Watts mechanic should be optional and equally powerful or less powerful than free aim. But in case of any percentage based AP regeneration, conductors will be the number one pick for any Watts create build and the game will be more unbalanced. Heck, even heavy gunners will be able to go brrrr with minigun dealing crits right and left or left and right. So, the current version of conductors is fine and I hate it, because I don't want to be healed by anyone but me, Bethesda. So, my opinion, back this crappy legendary modification, period. Pinpointers is kinda stupid because we are supposed to deal extra damage only to limbs like arms or legs or I don't know, claws, <laughs> but uh, headshots as well are buffed. So, on one side, I'm happy that headshots are buffed, on another, well, some of your developers should be better educated. So, please change description, more damage to limbs and head. Thank you. The next goes Vipers, 50% more damage if a combat target is poisoned. So, my Kabloom gonna flourish like never before. And actually, it just works with not super duper very combat scavengers. As you can see. Kabloom. Fracturers sounds promising. When crippling limbs, they explode and deal up to 150 explosion damage to nearby targets. Wow. Nah, it just doesn't work on my end. Well, maybe legs are not limbs for people who work at Bethesda Game Studios. But we can try something else if you want. You are made of limbs? And shit. So I tried to cripple arms and mm, nothing. The confetti effect is because of lunch boxes, obviously. Just in case. I think I need to try one more time with a different weapon, different character in a different video game. Ah, no, 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 wait. But another interesting moment was an actually explosion that's gonna happen right here. I was. Somewhat confused, but turns out it was a Scorchy Mafia guy with a grenade launcher. So here I am on another character using a very different weapon. As you can see, it just doesn't work. 
But the major difference here would be crippling not with perk, but with the damage ideal. I think enforcer or one gun army don't broke explosion. And as you can see here, yeah. Let me show you one more time. Doggy, give me your head and boom. What's funny, they can survive and kill someone nearby with explosion. <laughs> the damage has some sort of nuke grenade effect, so it goes through walls. I'm not sure if Bev gonna keep it, cause it's kinda overpowered, but I love it. Speaking of fracture, I kinda need to break it down to understand what's good and what's not. As for now, shotguns, including Pepper Shaker, actually don't work with this legendary modification. And that is why I'm waiting for the update. I think Beth gonna nerf it, because it is too much fun. <laughs> Believe me. I hope they will not, because it is too much fun. <laughs> Believe me. And uh, I'm done for today. Big thank you for watching. I will see you later. Bye bye bye. Bye bye.